Oi, mate! Mate, get off me lake! Yells the swan. Oi, mate! Get out of me ocean! Yells this fishy, pointy-nosed bastard. That was a fair dinkum solid crack at trying to impale a human. Oh, yeah, today is the day this bloke has decided to fix his roof. He's just getting started with the job. <laughs> it's funny that the point at which he started the job was also the point in which he ended the job. Oh, yeah, there's a big-ass kangaroo. They are sick and tired of us lately. I don't know why. This one's attempting to tear down a house. So many wankers are like, why don't Aussies celebrate Halloween? Because we live with these fucking nightmares, don't we? This is someone's hard-earned investment property that they're renting out for $9,000 a week getting damaged. I don't know what this dickhead's problem is, but get a look at the jumpy jump. Yeah! What a ripper! It's nice in this series hearing laughter instead of screaming. <laughs> Seriously, we need to send this Roo to the Olympics. It would be an awesome break dancer. Back to the screaming. <laughs> what a filthy pig. Not the pig, the cameraman. Look at him, getting right up in there. He may as well be giving her a colonoscopy. Go to nordvpn.com slash aussieman to protect your privacy. Oi, you know how deep down in your guts, in your tummy, you know you shouldn't mess with an animal sometimes. You can just tell visually. It looks pissed off, it's cranky, it's been through some shit. Leave it alone. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like 98% of us would see that. Oh man, I love it when humans become animals to fight animals. Get back! Yeah. Get back! Get back! That's good. It's who we are, deep down. It is, it is our nature. Get back! You can't deny it. Or you can deny it. I mean, some people do deny that we're animals. You can see this is evidence. This is visual evidence. We are animals. What I'm saying is I'm not religious. I'm just an animal with pants and a big cranium. It was a day like any other day in Mexico until you heard your child running down the street screaming and being chased by a couple of angry goats. And what could you do for her? You could film her. That will build resilience. Nah, that's character building. Look at the goats. They're like, oh well. Guess we'll go to the pub. The terrifying thing about a pack of wolves is that they don't need to do a lot for you to be terrified of them. If there was not any glass between this bloke and the wolves, he would be eaten. What's that doing? My knowledge of wolves only comes from the movie The Grey with Liam Neeson. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they want to eat him. Let me know in the comments.